Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be chatting about substitution. Okay, so we're still working with formula, but this time we're looking at substitution. So they'll usually give you something like this. If A equals 2 and B equals 10, then they want you to calculate C. All right, so we usually start off with something simple like, well, A plus B equals C. So because we know what A is, it's going to be 2 plus, we know what B is, 10. We don't know what C is, but because we know these other values, we now know that C equals 12. Okay, now that's just a simple one. I'm actually going to split this so that you can see. The next one we have is now C equals A, B. Now remember what I said to you, if you've got them sort of glued together, you know, the two are in a very steady relationship. <laughs> they are married here. Okay. Um, it's actually saying that it is A multiplied by B. So do we have the values for A and B? Yes, we do. C equals A, which will be 2 multiplied by b what is b 10 and so 2 times 10 we know is 20 and therefore c equals 20. right our next one let's have a look at this one let's go c over a equals b plus 4. now you might get a bit freaked out because now we're dealing with a fraction okay but remember what we did in our previous video with basic equations we're going to use the same principle over here. So let's look at that first. Let's look at the, the right hand side first. We know what B is. B is 10. So this is 10 plus 4. So we know that that side is 14. All right? Now C over A, what is that going to be? C, it's actually C divided by 2. All right? Now we know that in order to get rid of our 2, because it's been divided, we need to multiply by 2. And that means we need to multiply by 2 on the other side, which means C is going to be 14 times 2, which is 28. Now, again, if you want to check this, we know this side is 14. So C is 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14. So let's look at another two examples. Um, this one says, well, let's look at P. If, if P equals 5R minus 2T, and we know that R equals 11, T equals 12, then they want us to calculate what P is. Okay, so again, guys, we just break it down. P equals 5, and remember, when it's glued together, when they're married like that, it's actually saying that it's multiplied by that. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking of the previous equation. R equals 11 minus 2T. That is going to be 12. So when we bring that together now, P equals 5 times 11. We know that's 55 minus 2 times 12. That is 24. So you can see now it comes down to normal figures, 55 minus 24. And that is going to be 20. And that is going to be 31. Let's look at one more. Here's a nice one for us. S equals a half A minus 100. All right, that is our formula. That's what they want us to work out. They want us to calculate what S is. And the only thing they give us is A. And they say A equals 512. So here we go. S equals a half and we know that's going to be multiplied by whatever the answer is in our brackets. Please don't forget bod mass. We do our brackets first. 512 minus uh, 100. And that will give us 
412 and it's now going to be a half sorry i'm working a bit backwards so s equals a half multiplied in other words what is the half of 412 therefore s equals 200 and what is it six okay now let's go and test that out if s is 206 we can see this answer on the right hand side is going to be 206 so what's s going to be 206 and there you go